Hey guys and welcome back to another video on Kerbal Space Program. Now today we have the Lapcat A2 Hypersonic Aircraft Mark 1. This thing is vast, I have to admit. Uh, overall, it is pretty stable at low altitudes, but once you reach a higher altitude, because the back is so heavy, it uh, will spaz out. So, I will show you this Mark 1. I also have a Mark 2 version of it. It's bit which is a bit more faster. And let's go. Lag. Uh, down here it actually looks like the engine is scraping the ground. I think it is. Once it let's have a look. Once it falls down. Mm, adjust. It's it's safe. <laughs> and it looks quite cool from behind. So let's go let's go yeah, about this much in throttle. We've got four engines, elongated body. And let's try lifting up now. Almost holding it down S. Okay, good. Alright, now the front is a bit wobbly. Whoa again. Full throttle. G. It's going quite good. Yeah. We have Gus aboard. He is always speechless as usual. I have some uh, support struts underneath here. One, two. It's always needed. It's always best because, as you guys can see, it it is shaky. So if I didn't put the support struts, it might have fallen apart. So what I do is I'll straighten this thing out now while I can, and then hope it doesn't go crazy. Okay, it's fine. All right, good. That's good. Now I hope it's still going up. Yep, it's going up, slowing down, but yeah, going. Going pretty fast, 400 meters per second. We'll definitely reach 500, giving that this thing doesn't crash. Alright, still going up. It's quite pretty from down here. It's going good. Yep, almost 500. Uh, are we not going up anymore? Yeah, going not as fast. Just check the map. As you guys can see, I've been mucking around. This is a uh, a waiver wave ride. I'll show you in the next episode. Yeah, going good. Yeah, the lag. <laughs> this tail fin back here is, uh, has a 0.7 lift rating. So it, it's pretty good. We're still going. We will probably reach 600 meters per second. This is not as fast as the the bomber or hypersonic VTOL that uh, I created because it is you know quite long. A lot of weight, dead weight that's at the front and a bit at the back with the tail fin. Alright, let's just straighten this thing out a bit more. Oh, yep, good. Now we are still increasing in altitude. Straighten up even more. Alright, eventually we're probably going to start falling. Yeah, we are falling. But pretty fast. We wasted one fuel tank. So that was just a normal jet fuel tank. Um, I don't think it will reach 700 meters per second. Uh, if we do, then that'd be cool. But unlikely. It looks like it's it's gonna stay there, 647 meters per second, which is still alright. And if you want to get 
if you want to get down here, we I don't think we'll make it down here, but you know, I prefer the hypersonic VTOL bomber that we created. Uh, that would definitely reach down here with more fuel tanks, and you know, it's best to use rocket fuel tanks for that since uh, rocket fuel contains much more fuel than just jet fuel. Although it is heavier, it, it just lasts way longer. So it's a better option, and for aerodynamics, it's it's better than just having random fuel tanks placed everywhere and everywhere. You know, bad for controlling your aircraft. But overall, this has been good. All right, what I'll do is um, I'm going to try and turn it just to show you guys if if it can turn. I'm not sure if it can. Let's try and get down there. Which we probably won't. So I'm click here. Gently, do not smash. Oh no, but T. T is always a good option. Always have an SAS module, no matter what. Unless <laughs> you really like not having any weight on your aircraft. Because I think it's about, I'm not sure, maybe 0 0.8 pieces of weight. <laughs> I don't really know what the term is. It doesn't say kilograms or milligrams. You know, I'd assume kilograms because it is it's something that would be heavier, heavy in a CS module. Or probably not. It depends on the technology. Yeah. All right, yeah, turning was uh, is okay. I'm just worried. It, you know, the front part, if, if this starts shaking like crazy, almost like it is now, then it could crash. That's not good. What we'll do is, uh, as soon as we get up to that island, uh, we'll try and land. So I'll put, a, I'll click G for the gears to go down. Yep, it's more gear bay. Let's try and turn. Good. Alright, let's see how this goes. Well, uh, I'll be back to you guys once I've almost reached or crashed into the island. See ya. Bad news. I did not suspect this. Damn. Uh, we didn't even go far. I mean, the fuel wasted. Yep. I highly doubt we can reach down there. And I'm not going to attempt it. I mean, well, let's just see the gliding capacity of this. Yep. Yeah, it's going pretty good. Let's try turning it. Hmm. Down, turn. Alright, don't go forward. Turn. S. Come on, don't go crazy. Q. S. <laughs> Come on, no. Alright, what this thing is doing is the... Great. The front nose is actually going down because it's that heavy. I'm surprised. I thought the back part was heavier. <laughs> Guess not. Yeah, the, the front part is pretty heavy. Uh, do not want to die. <laughs> what is that? Well, uh, rest in peace, Gus. Well, this is not the end of the episode. I'll show you Mark II of this fast machine, which is meant to be hypersonic. So let's go and search for our full list. Mark II, select. Bang! Some of you guys are like, what have you done? Yes, this is my modification. I have these uh, aerospike rockets, a whole heap of rocket fuel since aerospike rockets take up all the fuel. And I'm going to try and position this properly. So I'm just going to hold, um, let's try S. Yeah, so shift S once you've selected the capsule and this thing will go on an angle. Uh, let's hope this actually works. Alright. So we've got, let me just show you, we've got a fuel duct underneath here. So the fuel will go from, from here to here. 
Uh, we've got a bit of support back here. Uh, this air stuff, what do you call it? Yes, RCS thrust blocker. Uh, it does hold a lot of wings. Uh, this fuel thing again, from meant to increase fuel flow. Engine, Natal. It's probably spelled some other way. Nakele, Natale. I don't know. I'll, I'll check Wikipedia. <laughs> it's a very reliable source. Shh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not reliable. Not all the time. But, in the meantime, let's just talk about what's new. In Kerbal Space Program, I want... What the hell was the water doing there? Yeah, I want to be able to craft and create boats. Like, boats. That would be cool. I want a boat that will actually fly, then go into space and come back down, then go into back into the water. That would be cool. That's what I want. This game would be even awesome. And uh, while we're creating this, you saw me uh, position this aircraft and half of it, the half of the tail fin was uh, underground. But uh, the game actually calculates, finds that, that out and it makes the aircraft be a bit higher than the ground as you can see. It's just a touch higher. So, some of you are saying, it's not going to work. No, I don't want real work. Alright, let's go full throttle. And space bar. Oh shit, the tail fin broke. Unexpected. Yep, unexpected. Uh, that's not good. Well, this might actually work, so let's just do that anyway. Yeah, that's less weight at least. It's going, eh, sort of fast. The fuel is going down fast too. <laughs> Let's try and control it. Uh, bad, no. Bad option for controlling. Yep. Uh, oh, we got R. Come on. Click R. Now. Oh, come on. Alright, R. No. I will control you. Alright. Good. You stay like that. Stay. Don't turn. What? I'm gonna restart this before something bad happens to all along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's take off that shitty stuff that killed us. Da -da 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 -da. Gone. Gone. Get you to. Bye bye. Alright. We've got wheels going, and yep, looking good. Save and launch. Yes, clear the runway, please. And yes, give me some lag. <laughs> as good as your computer is, there will always be lag. This game is a lag fest. I mean, it's because I have <laughs> high graphics on for this game. Just for you guys. So, T. I don't know. I don't think we'll have to go full throttle with this, but let's just try it out anyway. Yeah, we won't have to go full throttle. Uh, let's T. Lift up. Why is the front spazzing out? That's not good. Alright. Whoa. Shit. Damn. Come on. Ah, thank you. Uh, no. No. Come on, don't crash. Oh, no. I feel whatever for throttle. Ah. Uh, Well, I have a judgment about this aircraft. It's a failure. Yeah. A big failure. Before I was testing this thing out, I went at high altitude and it started turning because the front part is so heavy. I think this is a failed lap cat. So what I'll do is I'll just give it one more try. And this is a very long episode. 
and let's just see how fast we can go without adjusting it and lag okay we have Kenlan let's hope he brings us good luck he's happy he's confident sure is and he never eats food never all right T full throttle bang all right all right we should be able to lift up now oh what the hell <gasps> what was that what happened what did we break we broke the tail fin again all right the tail fin is a failure come on T I just want you to go all right please stay no T all right you're going good you stay like that you go up yes I don't care where else you go just go up show the viewers your talent Failures at the same time. Alright, hey guys, uh, this is going good. Yep. Surprisingly. This is a very failed lab cat. Do not like this aircraft. No one make it, ever. Don't even try it. Going fast. It is still shaking. I hope we reach space, but we probably won't. Gracias fuel is gone. Yep, it's gone. It's wasted. It's great. More good news, so we can't control it if we go to space. We're going good. It's, is it going on an angle? Yes, it's going to fall. Oh, great. And I'm not doing anything. Yep. Uh, this is great. Just as we're going fast. Too much weight at the front. I cannot fix that. I wonder if everything's gonna split apart. Probably not. But at least it's it's still yeah pretty high. Yeah, not bad. It's still going. What the? Oh, because <laughs> the aircraft is turning and going crazy. This thing turns to. <laughs> It's like, where am I gonna land? Here, here. No, no, maybe here. <laughs> it's a cool aircraft. Yeah. Good for, whoa, whoa. Yeah, good for trolling. Plenty of fuel. It's gonna waste. In a couple seconds. And yes, kaboom. All right, so that will crash land. Excellent, that's what it deserves. We cannot speed this up. Alright, well that's the end of... Ep ep oh shit. That's the end of this episode, guys. <laughs> uh, Kenlin will die, crash and burn, and so should this aircraft. Have a nice day.